Thanks for clicking on Total Harmonic Distortion Channel. Today we're going to take a look at the Cool Music Versal Chorus and see if it's versatile as its name claims. The chorus effect is created by taking the signal and adding a delayed signal to it and modulating the delay back and forth. This creates a characteristic comb filter pattern, which somewhat looks like a comb uh, on this logarithmic scale. A comb filter basically is you take the input in and you delay it and then you add it to the output. Um, this creates the combing effect similar to what you see here. These are linear scales so I use log and scales, scale so my combs get smaller and smaller with the frequency going up. But it's the same basic idea. Let's go back to the pedal and take a closer look. This pedal has a level of depth a, and a rate control as well as a low and a high frequency control. Uh, the level control basically controls the level of just the delay and the rate controls the, the rate of the delay going back and forth. As you can see as I increase the, uh, the rate, the impulse down here kind of spreads out. This is basically due to uh, the FFT working over a group of samples and it basically time smears the impulse response. To combat this I'm going to go to a different uh, FFT size. As you can see basically uh, I, I get my impulse response back by basically making shorter FFTs which basically reduces the time smearing effect but reduces the number of bins in the FFT graph. With the delay fully up, it looks like uh, it's moving from like four and a half milliseconds to maybe seven back and forth. And as you reduce that, it basically settles in the center at about 5.2-ish milliseconds of delay. Now since there's two impulse responses here, there's, there's one over here which is due to my interface being crummy and got a new interface coming, but uh, we'll talk about that later. And you got this impulse over here. What I can basically do is kind of zero out this impulse and just take a closer look at just this impulse response itself. And if I do that, I get this sort of a graph of, of the yellow curve. Now the yellow curve is basically just the impulse response, uh, the FFT of this particular part of the impulse response. And we can take a closer look at the delayed signal, and when it's very quiet, there's not much of a comb filter, but as it goes up and it's equal volume, the combs get really deep. But if you go above the volume, the combs actually go shallower again, because you're mostly hearing this part of the signal, and the original signal gets delayed a little bit. But anyways, this also gives us the ability to take a closer look at the filters. There's a low and a high frequency control that controls the uh, bass and treble of the delayed signal. So let's reduce the high frequency emittance. And you can see it basically reduces the highs and the, and the low frequency reduces the low. Let's, uh, let's, let's slow that down a bit and go back here so we can get a better view of the comb filters. I guess we're going to deal with that. Okay, so we got a high frequency control and a low frequency control. And uh, actually these two controls make this chorus quite versatile. It's, I haven't seen a chorus with these two types of controls on them before and it seems like a somewhat original design. So I have to give props to that. Um, the rate control also controls the rate. Uh, we haven't gone through that. You get the same kind of time smearing with the rate as you do with with the depth. Uh, so, anyways, um, that's the versatile chorus. It seems quite versatile um, when I take a closer look at it. Uh, let's go over to the web and see what these guys uh, sell for. Okay, uh, looking at Google Shopping for versatile chorus, cool music, I was kind of horrified to see that. They make a versatile chorus that isn't quite as versatile. It only has three controls. It doesn't have five controls like the one I have right here. Uh, the one I have right here is uh, $52 on eBay. 
the less versatile course, which is what I would call it, is also the same price. Um, I guess this is an earlier model uh, of this. Um, I don't know. But uh, anyways, uh, that's all I have for today. Uh, as always, uh, please subscribe.